Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon White Channel Yourself Pokemon Game. In the last episode we made our way here to Accumulatown. Um and yeah, we're gonna be kinda going through this place a bit. Um and we'll also be making it to the next town and then um we'll kinda try and get started on the route after that. Um so that's basically what we're gonna be doing today. Nothing I guess too exciting of course. Um we're gonna be doing one of the in-game trades and then we're going to um Kind of just do a few battles here and there, so that's basically all that's going to happen today. Um, so nothing really important, obviously. At least regarding this game. Cool thing about this place, as you probably already have noticed, is the drum sound in the background that kind of remains even after you leave the house. Um, kind of wish that they had something similar to that in, um, you know, X and Y, but you know, of course, it's at least I don't remember if they do or not. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of cool that you can kind of just walk around and hear the drum music and whatnot, it's just kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We have some news to kind of cover today as well in regards to Pokemon, however, I would like to kind of mention that I might not be doing an episode tomorrow. Um, obviously tomorrow is going to be the Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby demo distribution for the United States. Um, so, I mean, there's that. There's also several other things that I kind of want to do. Um, and I'm going to probably also use that time to fix my sleep schedule as well. Um, at least attempt to. So, um, yeah. So, the news that we kind of have to cover does kind of tie in with the distribution. Um, today, the Pokemon company international officially revealed mega steelix and mega glalie and in doing so confirm that for the u.s trainers mega glalie will be the pokemon available for or obtainable for players and be able to send to the main games making it available to north america europe and korea while japan's the only one still that gets mega steelix um, the U.S. demo will be distributed from tomorrow through the Pokemon Trainer Club newsletter, which can be signed up for on the official site, but you need to sign up today, so be sure to make sure you have signed up for it. Um, also, more demo distributions are known for the U.S. now. Codes will be distributed at select cinema locations nationwide from November 7th through no or November 13th while supplies last. Check with your local retailer during the holidays to find out about special demo code giveaways while supplies last. Get a code with your purchase of the new Pokemon Art Academy game out October 24th when you buy from Nintendo eShop on your Nintendo 3DS or 2DS system. You will also get a code with your purchase of one of two classic Pokemon games coming to the Virtual Console service on Nintendo eShop, the Pokemon Puzzle Challenge game out November 6th, or the Pokemon Trading Card game out November 13th. You will find your free demo code on your eShop receipt, download codes available while supplies last. Codes will be emailed the week of October 31st to Nint or select Nintendo customers with Nintendo Network IDs who have signed up to receive promotional emails from Nintendo. Um, codes will be distributed during the Holiday Mall Tour from November 24th through De or December 21st at 16 different locations throughout the nation. Talk to a staff member to try out Pokemon Omega Ruby, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, or any of the future Nintendo 3DS games to receive two codes, one for you and one for a friend while supplies last. Or while supplies last. Um, so they also mentioned the check back for... Um, locations. Also, if you didn't kind of get the other bit of information, uh, during the release of or about Nintendo or North America or the North America demo codes, it was revealed that Game Boy, or Game Boy Color titles, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, and the Game Boy Color title Pokemon Trading Card Game Game Boy will be released on the, the, um, the Nintendo 3DS uh, virtual console for the North American, you know, shit next month. Um, Puzzle Challenge will be released on November 6th, costing $4.99, while the Trading Card Game will be released on November 13th, and cost $5.99. So, um, kind of cool things that you get. I mean, whatever. I don't know. I I'd be more excited about the Trading Card Game, but... But both of them are cool. And it's like the second time I've yawned already. So, you can understand why I'm trying to get my sleep schedule back in track. Also, if you couldn't tell, um, yeah, if you trade with her, you can get a free Ambipom, basically. Um, it has, I think, set IVs. I think there's, there's a bunch of 20s and maybe a 30 or two. Um, it's also got a Jolly Nature. They're all set. It has the ability to pick up. It also has Nasty Plot. Um, fun thing here is it also learns Cut and Strength, so we're basically replacing Excadrill with, you know, Ambipom as our Cutter and Strength user. 
Um, you can also give her a hit pout on for an Alakazam, and um, you can battle her again. And I think when you battle her the second time, she'll have both the Excadrill and the hit pout on. Um, I think she leads the hip out on to set up like sand whatever because obviously you get sand rush or sand force with Excadrill because mold break is a hidden ability. So I mean there's that. Um, fun little fact, I mean, I'm sure that there's a bunch of people that will just do this. You can nickname the Pokemon that you're going to trade her and when she sends them into battle they will have that nickname. Um, so you can, um, I really don't think it's appropriate. But you could always name it something like PP Touch or Your Mama or you know something like that, and just when she's in it out, it'll literally say that name. So you can come up with the dumbest names possible, and it, they'll be in the game. It, it's pretty funny, I mean, whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, it's something you can do, I guess. I, I did it off screen just to kind of double sure, only be double sure that it, you know. They could actually copy the name, but yeah. I'm still kind of disappointed, by the way. I don't know about anyone else. I mean, Mega Glalie? Really? Like, no other country has Steelix. None. The only place that has it is Japan. That is seriously messed up so far. Like, I don't understand. Where, where else is going to get Steelix? I mean, don't get me wrong. Whoever else gets Steelix, great for you guys better the two fucking mega evolutions that you get like really clearly for america seriously i don't know i mean sure it's still going to be a free mega and i'm sure that the other one's going to be available in game but seriously it, i'm sure that nintendo of japan or just nintendo in general understands that steelix is the more popular one so why is japan so far the only one that has it exclusively it just doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe you want to you tell me why why Japan is the only one that's getting Steelix. But honestly, I I'm a little salty at the fact that no one else has Steelix, including us. Like it's just kind of stupid in my opinion. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. And yes, I'm drinking water because it's kind of warm in my room and it, uh, it's yeah, it's kind of bad. But, um, yeah. So, like I said, we're just going to be battling a bunch of trainers today. Uh, apparently, this route has a lot of trainers that have a lot of fossils, even though they don't look like any of the fossil people from the prior games. I don't even think there is a fossil person in this game. I don't know if... I don't think there's, a, like, a specific trainer class for fossil people in this game. I don't really remember it at all. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. It's never usually relevant until now. Which is weird, but... I... whatever. So, like, like you know, Therapy says, if you haven't signed up for, like, the newsletter and whatnot, um, you kind of want to do that, because if you don't, then you're kind of screwed. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I don't think that they're going to give it out, like, you know, after, because you obviously won't get the newsletter, and if you don't get it, then you have to go through all these crazy things just to, you know, so I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I guess if you decide that you want to receive promotional emails, then you can always get them through, you know, the email on October 31st, several, you know, days after we get the, you know, so I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see. I mean, I, I have to make double sure that I'm actually signed up for the newsletter as well, because I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I know that I'm signed up for the emails, it's just I don't know if I'm signed up for the newsletter, so I have to kind of figure that out. But, um, yeah. So, something that everyone needs to kind of make double sure on, make sure that they go and get registered, because if they don't, it's going to be a little while until you actually get the demo, and that's going to make you a little bit salty, just like I am. So, and I'm pretty sure no one wants to be salty. There are plenty of flavors to choose from, and I don't think anyone wants to choose to be salty. So, Specifically me. I, I, I've seen the demo. I've mentioned this in, I think, the last episode of the episode before last. The demo is kind of lackluster. It, it could be a lot better than it is, but at the same time, it's still Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Everyone wants to play it. Kind of, you know, want to do that. I 
don't know if I want to. I could like play through the demo for you guys on screen um, just to kind of go through it with you. Uh, I might. I might. I don't know. We'll see. And like I said, there may not be an episode tomorrow. It could be the demo stuff. We'll see. Um, problem is, I don't wake up until like really late, so that's part of the reason why I might, I might do it really tired. Like I might still stay up like all day and just do it really, really tired, just to kind of like fuck up for no reason, just kind of be entertaining in that sense. But I don't know. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I mean. I do have a capture card now, I can download it on there, and, you know, it's cool. I wonder if you if you have multiple demos, if you can do multiple transfers. I'm assuming you can, because you do the transfer through the demo, and if you have, like, three different 3DSs like I do, and you download the demo multiple times, assuming you can, I'm sure you need three different codes, but, like... I wonder if you can get like three of the Glaliites or you know stuff like that. Be kind of cool. By the way, um, our old home, so to speak, uh, our our home from Pokemon Black, um, and of course our old mother. You know we got a new one, and apparently they are uh, they know each other, which is hilarious. Um, so I mean, it's kind of cool. Apparently our old selves are. Um, kind of slacking a little bit because we left out a King's Rock for our future selves. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take that for ourselves. Why not? Thing is, is, um, our name isn't on there because we don't have, like, we didn't do, um, the memory link thing. We kind of can't. I don't think that we really can. I know you can get to the, like, DS menu, but, I mean, you have to kind of go through, the, I think, the Nintendo Zone or something for that. I can't really remember. I remember doing it on my actual physical copy of the game, but um, I don't really remember it. But if you do like the memory link thing, your old trainer's name will actually be on that mailbox, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of just like, okay, whatever. And we're just going to show off our Pokédexes and the whole 25 Pokémon that we've caught, because why the hell not? Exactly. It's kind of pathetic when you think about it. 25 out of like 649 Pokemon. It's pretty disgusting actually that we've gotten through the main game into the host game with only 25 Pokemon. But I mean, at least it's not that difficult. I mean, when you look at the team preview, we have three Pokemon in the form of Oshawott, Duat, and Samurott. Then we have Riolu, Lucario, Petty Little Lilligan. Then we have EV Espeon, then we have Dynamo, Electric, Electros, and then we have Skarmory. Um, and then of course, you know, through our actual party that we currently have, because Electros is in the PC, uh, we have Ambipom, we also had Excadrill to get the Ambipom, um, stuff like that. It's just like, a whole bunch of them are just like right there in front of us. But, um, yeah. And I kind of didn't go over enough there, and I thought that the amulet coin was, for some reason, the max repel. So, hooray. I think I also made a misplay in this video. I think I already got past it, though. No? I don't know. I don't think I did. Because there's a trainer. Like, I was going to end the episode at, like, 14-something, and um, a trainer happily caught me, and I was like, oh, great. Well, gee, thanks. And... That trainer is right here, at 14 minutes, and it takes a little over a minute to kill her, so we're going to murder, like, we, we're just going to have that huge murderous intent, we're going to destroy this girl. I can't help but think that I'm going to miss playing this battle, and I don't know why, but I, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, maybe it was the one earlier with um, some of the fossils, I think it might have been, I don't really remember. No, it's 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 this battle now. That I remember now what I did. Um, she has a obviously a Wigglytuff and a Girafferick. She also has a Vile Plume. And for some reason, while I was recording the gameplay, I thought it was a smart idea to bring in Samurott instead of Espeon against the Vile Plume. So, as I said, Vile Plume. And as you see, I bring in Samurott. So I don't know why I thought that was a smart idea. 
mean if it somehow lived you could have used pedal dance or something and really destroyed my samurai but um i do get lucky and the ice cream will be taking this thing out because yeah but um yeah i mean i, I probably should have went with espion there and went with a psychic because you know poison types Anyways, we're obviously out of time, so what we're going to be doing in the next episode is we're going to be continuing on this route, um, heading out towards, you know, the west and trying to figure out everything that's out there as well. So, um, yeah, be sure to stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, this is the Pokegamer, signing out.